और कैसे हो भाई लोगों यहाँ पे बेड़ा गर्क हो गया लेडीज एंड जेंटमेन टुडे वी गॉट ब्रांड न्यू इन्फॉर्मेशन अबाउट जी टी एस सिक्स वर एक्चुअली गेटिंग सम रियली गुड न्यूज अबाउट जी टी एस सिक्स रिलीज डेट वर हेयर दैट इट्स कमिंग आउट अट बे अर्लियर देन वी एक्सपेक्ट I hope that's true, but part of me feels like that's still not gonna be coming out that early. Is it coming out in 2025? Is it coming out this year, or is it coming out in 2026? We're gonna talk about it. What's up with the next GTA 6 trailer, right? When is that coming out? The gameplay leaks that are going around. We're also gonna talk about GTA 6 online. And surprisingly, like this video, subscribe if you're brand new. Let's go for two likes on the video, guys, and uh, check this out. Rockstar Games tries to keep a lot of what they do a secret, and they do this so that when they do release their masterpieces, these amazing titles that we get to play like Grand Theft Auto and Red Dead Redemption that yeah. for the most part it's a surprise and we get yeah. to enjoy it. you know we get to enjoy the shark cards uh, shark cards included yeah everything uh, seeing it for the very first time without leaks and without spoilers now knowing the way things have transpired over the last couple of months and years specifically with Grand Theft Auto like this game went from like not even a single alien seeing it to everybody the entire universe seeing the Lucia Bruna this is a one of the most leaked game out Daughter there six, bro we know that that is not always true Although Rockstar does try their best to again keep things a secret. However, there's just some things that they cannot keep in the shadows, like how much money they end up making and the positions that they're actually hiring for. And it's that topic today that we're actually going to take a look at. Yeah. It kind of reveals what Rockstar might be up to, and also suggesting that GTA 6 will come out soon. Honestly, bro, like, um, yeah, okay. First of all, let's check it out, and I'll I'll carefully explain to you why it's not the case. Bruh. All right. Rather than later, at least in the year 2025. So Rockstar Games published a new job post for Rockstar Lincoln, quality assurance and release management, a localization tester for Russian, and it's a fixed term 12 months. So both of those things are actually important here. Uh -huh. The fact that Rockstar uh -huh. is already doing localization testing is huge. And I know some right. of you guys might be asking, what's Rockstar Lincoln? I thought that would be Rockstar North or Rockstar New York handling this. Now, Lincoln. Yeah, I don't think they're going to give it to Rockstar North. I mean, I'm joking around. But the reason I'm saying it is because Rockstar North director son leaked the Lucia Bunda to his friend and he leaked it to everybody, right? right? So I don't know about that one, Kaji. It's one of their newer and smaller studios, but just like all major Rockstar games, especially when they're in the final stages of development, it's really all hands on deck from every single studio. Yeah. So I would imagine Rockstar And right now they're trying to get like all the devs over to the office, but the devs are like... <laughs> We, we don't want to go to the we don't want to be at the office and Bruh. we don't want to be working five days a week i mean come on dog what are we talking about man yeah a lot of devs are uh, don't want to go back to the studio i mean they're not saying they don't want to work they're just saying that they want to work from home right and rockstar is like nah get your ass in the studio or more like take two boss is saying that get your ass over to the studio and we need to put out gta 6 and i'm in the favor of that listen man i want this game too dog i i don't want to be 80 years old like the video if you don't want to be 80 years old uh, while playing this game bro so star north rockstar san diego rockstar toronto rockstar lincoln they're all pitching in in some way shape or form to get yeah. gta 6 out the door and essentially what video game localization is is the process of producing video game content for a specific region and doing it like it was made for that region originally so for example that might be the game's name its art assets packaging okay. manuals cultural and legal differences these things Not are sometimes altered and have to be changed depending on what country you're in and based on the different rules and sickers are making the argument that since they are hiring this uh, uh person for, or what the, the entire group in russia or for russia right for 12 months sickers are believing that this is why we're gonna get the game in 12 months from now so that that means like march or april Bruh. uh I, and i mean yeah sure like it makes sense because they this is official right now they're kind of officially talking about it but dog like they can always extend it You know what I'm saying? Like, they can add, like, another 12 months. <laughs> J just think about it, right? Like, they can add another 12 months when it's getting closer to expiring in 2025. I hope not! I hope not, but let's just be real. Uh, what else we got? Rules and regulation that country might actually have. It's a process that Rockstar Games has to do. It's probably a pain in the butt, but if they want to sell it to countries that maybe don't speak English or have different cultural processes and rules and regulations, they have to do this in order to get the game in as many different hands as possible. Yeah, yeah, and so yeah, because yeah. that requires altering things like the game's name, art assets, manuals, etc., this typically happens at the very end of a video game being produced, which is good mm. news for Grand Theft Auto 6 because it looks like that means racks are that, that's true right because we also did hear uh, another argument is that yeah jason schwire did confirm that you know the rockstar is 
they, they want the devs back at the studio, which we just talked about. And the reason they want them back is because they want to finish GTA 6. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. And it's getting closer to the end. And it makes sense, right? Like, uh, they would take a year extra to polish the game, finalize everything, and ship it out. Kind of makes sense, right? And I hope it's early 2025. But guys, like, what are we thinking? What are you thinking, though? Do you see this game coming out early? Or do you see it coming out, like, late 2025? Realistically, I would say late 2025. But I sure as hell want it early 2025. And uh, if it's really not coming out early 2025, then I hope it's like mid to late. Certainly not in 2026, though. Is closing in on completing the game. Now, the other thing that's interesting here is the fact that this is a fixed term for 12 months. That's kind of what I mentioned earlier, that Rockstar can't keep some things in the shadows. If they're going to hire someone, they have to let them know that this is only for a one-year-long position. And that would make sense because once they have localized everything for the Russian language and for Russia, they don't really have a purpose. Once all the voice acting is done, once all the... You do not localize in Soviet Russia. The Soviet Russia localized you my yeah. brother but uh by, by what if they extend it what if you know they they get they run into a problem or something happens where lucia burna ends up getting nerfed in the process yeah. and they're like okay we cannot nerf it or what if like the burna like takes like 50 gigabytes and then they're like we're gonna nerf it so then they first of all gotta nerf it and then they gotta do the localization process over I, I, obviously it doesn't work like that but but you feel what i'm saying right they can always extend it though so i wouldn't view this as like a confirmation that the game is coming out early 2025 cutscenes are completely Completed. Once all the art assets and marketing is done, they really don't have a purpose, which is why they're only staying for one year. And what's also interesting is in the description section for responsibility, it states perform localization QA to ensure the final product quality is as high as possible. So this sort of position so, is only working on GTA 6 when it's in I hope they're not talking about shark cards quality. <laughs> Because if these things are talking about the shark cards uh, upping the quality, but of shark cards, then bruh, bruh I'm out, bruh. That, that's when I'm out. But no, I honestly hope that it comes out early 2025. I mean, we got good signs though. Initially, they did say fiscal 2025, which means like early 2025, but they recently changed that to calendar 2025, which means that it can come out between January and December of 2025. So when they change that wording i and they have it changed though you know on their investor earnings report so i'm seriously doubting that they're gonna release this puppy like early 2025 i hope they do guys like listen <laughs> i want it man in the final product once again this is really good news and so what i believe this means and we've also reported on data coming from rockstar games parent company take two interactive as well regarding this is that grand theft auto 6 looks to be set to coming out in the early part of 2025 Five, possibly around March or April. Uh, doubt, but I hope so. I hope At so. a latest, it's looking like around May. Because if you think about it, if Rockstar is hiring for this position and it's 12 months long, that means they would be done by around this time, February or March. Because it just doesn't make sense. Rockstar wouldn't hire a essentially a language tester just for them to leave in March of 2025 and then ultimately have the game released. Dude, are, are we going to have like the Jamaican homies with the Bumble, Bumble Clad? Clad. I, I hope they hire some Jamaican homies as well. We need, the, we need to make sure the Bumble Clad actually hits man how many of you play gta 4 though you know we had the bumble cloud homie man he was rolling though always coming in with the hot bumble cloud sling at least in late back, 2025 bro. as the game would probably need a bit more testing by then now it's not to say there won't be a delay or that it won't slip into late 2025 but at least as things uh, or 2026 currently stand it looks on track to arrive in early 2025 yeah, which again is so. really good news for all of us and recently we also had like some massive leaks about uh gtsx we had some gameplay leaks trailer 2 information as well click on this video on the screen on the left though we actually had some massive news and also some bad news about gtsx so i'm not sure which you want to pick you want to pick the good news you want to pick the bad news check it out and i'll see you right there